by now you guys have probably seen a lot of the content that's out there around AI. I want to go ahead and see if AI could help me make a YouTube thumbnail. And so I went ahead and Googled AI YouTube thumbnail maker. And so here are the top websites that popped up and maybe we can consider one, maybe two of them. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the first that we're gonna try is gonna be thumbnail.ai. I have no knowledge of this website, but let's just go ahead and try it. So I wanted to do a web or a drone review on the Scadio 2 Plus. Uh, so what I'm gonna type in is just gonna do that exact thing, which is a drone, it's a pretty awesome drone. So let's just do Scadio 2 review. And that name is unique enough to the point where I would imagine it'd be able to pull it in. <laughs> no, what is this? Uh, Okay, so this is like a random background that it gave me. There's more random background. <laughs> a peacock, what does that have to do? Okay, this is clearly not working. Let me go ahead and try like typing in drone. Scadio 2 drone review. Click save changes. I don't I don't know. No. Okay, so this is clearly not working the way I was thinking it would. I thought it would kind of auto populate in something related to the drone. So let me try one more. Okay, so it's just giving us generic backgrounds. I'll try it one more time. I just typed in webcam review, wanted to be broad to see if it would pull in anything related to cameras or webcams or computers or streaming at all. Okay, a little bit better there. Okay, that's much better. Okay, let's give it one more true attempt here. Let's be specific enough for it to draw in a good YouTube cover. And let's just do the, the <laughs> title of this likely YouTube video. Okay, using AI to make a YouTube thumbnail. Let's generate the ideas. I mean, that's okay. That's, I mean, it's almost catchy. I think you can change the color of this. I mean, this is okay. This is much better than the previous one. I like the yellow better. That's awesome. Huh, that's cool. It gives you different text types and whatnot. You can choose from, I like the yellow. Blue, huh. Let's see the different other thumbnails that they have. Mm, it's weird. This is okay. Obviously we changed the text here. AI, AI. Oh, this goes hard. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. I can see where, especially if you had no experience, you would use this. Like, this is kind of fun. Okay. So with this specific site, you just need to be much more uh, telling it exactly what you want. But this is pretty sweet. Let's try a different website. Okay. So this next one was hotspot.ai. Um, it looks like you have to pay for stuff, but it also gives me a feel that's basically just like Canva, which is typically what I use to make my thumbnails. And so let me just click on something. This would be cool if I could get like an AI image of myself. And so it says you have to sign up for this. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Art generator, headshot generator, no. So this was like second on the Google searches for me. Let's try another one. YouTube AI experiments here. Okay, let's see here. This is all great. Where can I use the tool? Oh, this is just telling us which YouTube thumbnails are trending. That's actually kind of an interesting thing. I don't mind that. That's very cool. Okay, so now this is gonna be a YouTube idea generator. So let us let me try the Scadio again as a drone because I might be doing that. Scadio 2 drone review. Video of Scadio drone flying around various, no, that's not gonna be what it is. No, those are stupid. All right, let's, let me try the AI generate YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so this is the human one and it, didn't do anything with that. So kind of a fun site, not really. This is just idea generator AI. Okay, so let's go ahead and try one more. Okay, so this is already right off the bat. It doesn't look like an AI thing. Let's try, we'll do generate new YouTube thumbnail. I don't wanna search thumbnails. I wanna, this is not AI generated then. It's false advertised and it looks like I have to pay for stuff. Okay, so no, not a, not a good website. I'm not even gonna mess around with this. Let me see if I can find any other ones out there. These were the top five on Google on my Google search. So let me try some different ones to see if I can find them. Okay, so I typed it in again. We got Filmora always popping up there. They know how to advertise. Their SEO is off the charts. It really is. And actually that's a hot topic I know with Filmora right now with a certain uh, content creator for Filmora. Ah, <laughs> interesting there. Um, But yeah, let's see if we have other ones. So we already tried these two. Thumbnail.ai was pretty good. Designs.ai, we'll try that. Snip, Snipified. We'll try that, try a couple of these. Okay, oh, so this, the, I clicked on the design. That's that same one I hated earlier, not using that. Okay, so this actually looks pretty cool. Start designing YouTube thumbnails. I'm guessing this is going to be a paid 
type of thing. Oh, okay. So it does have AI writing, which is cool. AI templates. Let's see here. Let's type in YouTube. So this might write, oh, this is kind of cool. YouTube video description, YouTube video outline, YouTube video titles. Okay. Let's try this. All right. Let's try the Scottio once again. And this isn't going to generate us a thumbnail, but at least it could give us a title maybe. Okay. So it's generating. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious for this one. The future of drones. Scottio 2 review. That actually pops. I mean, I would probably click on that. Scottio 2 drone review. Why? Why it's the best drone for aerial photography yeah that clicks there that checks some boxes for what people would be searching and then is the scotty two drone worth it our in-depth review those are pretty darn good youtube titles and sure this might not be a thumbnail maker i'll try their thumbnail maker after this um and try it so let's go ahead and do the ai generate youtube thumbnail okay so we're going to generate this and i hope i can copy and paste a winner from this into their youtube thumbnail maker how to make a youtube thumbnail top 10 tips for ai generated thumbnails i mean it, it kind of checks the boxes for what you are supposed to put into a youtube thumbnail it's the how to and then also telling you 10 tips. It's got the question and the call to action. This is just weird. How to create an AI generated YouTube thumbnail. YouTube thumbnail. How AI generated images are making an impact. No, I don't like those. This is okay. I'll tell you what, I'm going to click one of these first two. If you guys think I should do a different one, because that's going to be the title of this video, you tell me and I'll change it. All right. So I'm going to go with this one because I think it's going to more match the video that I'm currently doing. How to create an AI generated YouTube thumbnail, a tutorial. Pretty decent. So I'm going to copy that text. Then we're going to go back into simplified, maybe go to templates. I'm trying to find a place to make YouTube thumbnails now. Oh, okay. We got to do the drop down design, maybe browse templates. This is looking like a pretty cool site. Oh, YouTube thumbnails. Okay. We got that pop up suggested formats I'm kind of getting excited for this website. Okay. Can I do AI? Will, will they have that? Okay. They don't have AI. Let's try technology, internet technology. I'll tell you what guys, this does these pop a little bit more than the generic Canva ones a little bit. So if you're looking for that, I, I don't mind it. And I don't mind this either. Um, let's see if I can clone a template or create my own template. Okay. So it does have like an AI tool in here that we can use. I'm just going to click on that right now. Text to image. Oh man, that is a lot of money to use. We're not going to do that. That is stupid, but you can. So I copied the text in there. I'm trying to generate the image based off of that text. And so obviously we wouldn't want to pay for it. We can do this ourselves, but let's test it out. I'm curious as to see what it it gives us what the heck no i don't know what that is so that didn't work yeah i would say like this is you might as well just use canva it is sweet but like you don't have to worry about buying stuff this almost works but what doesn't exactly work yeah i would say i might use this tool for their ai writing like this is what i want right here this is the, exactly what i want for a youtube thumbnail a little robot and then uh ai generated thumbnail like that is what i want okay why can't i get that it's exactly what i want right there that looks awesome okay so what i decided is really this app simplified.com is pretty good for creating a YouTube description, thumbnail, title, or title, sorry. And then I didn't hate this one. It does pop enough. This was kind of the final image that I thought was really quite cool. Um, let me see if I can paste an image URL in here to get kind of close to this robot. Ooh, I kind of like this one. I mean, these are all kind of cool. AI robot, obviously that's kind of what we're going for. Let me see if I can copy the image URL. Now we're going to paste that in here. Click go. Okay. Not bad. Not perfect. Okay. Let's see if we can switch the text again. I mean, that's okay. I think I kind of like the, the last one better, but not bad. You know, a working AI YouTube thumbnail generated. Honestly, I've just probably rather use Canva. Um, especially if you are familiar with using it. But this, I could see how something like this website, given that it's free, would work. And if you guys are weary about like downloading from a website, just use your snipping tool. And that's that's from my golf content right there. And you can just do this and then save it. Okay, that's a good workaround. That is all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give a like and subscribe. All right, stay tuned for the next video on content creation.